back at it again, fixing the rotten beam, scarfing in new wood, sanding the bilges, coating with flow coat, and sanding some of the upper port side decks. Sand it down the port side hull. Hey Bo. Back down at the boat today, just going to be sanding the bottom of the bilges. Um, we got a lot of hot weather coming so I want to get all this paint out of the way and then I can put some thinned out epoxy on it, soak through in case there's any rot and then come back and flow coat that. So you can see here just going to be sanding all these on both sides with this little square sander um, fits nice and good it'll be slow but it'll do the job I got um, about halfway through with the little sander and just like I always do, get impatient and I end up grabbing um, the angle grinder with a flappy disc on it. Um, this just gets through everything heaps quicker. It's not as even, but if you can sort of get a technique where you hold it as flat as you can and do long strokes and um, get it pretty good. So that's, see what I've sanded here. Um, this is my main worry with the boat. I thought all this wood below here was gonna be rotten, um, but it's actually Oregon, not ply. Um, and it's pretty good. So pretty happy about that. I'll just put a big coat of um, thinned out epoxy on it. Um, I'll sand that. And then I'm gonna put a really thick flow coat all through the inside of this with not nice white flow coat so it um, looks really tidy and it's really sealed if whatever does get in here. So now the morning, um, yesterday I did a lot of this grinding here, so I've come back down early before it's too hot. Um, and we'll finish this off. Done these bits. All through here, a bit of here. Um, there's a couple through hole fittings. I brought the right sockets to get them off, and then I'll give in here a bit of a sand too. Um, and then I can put my thinned out epoxy on. This bloody thing. This is the reality of um. Breaking. Board. I don't want to spend the money on the the right large socket to slip on that um, so I'm getting this nut up with a shifter till I can get a um, so use a socket to get it off but yeah probably about 30 minutes in already and that's moved about a centimetre two of these. New beauty. That's it. That little prick there of this through hole cause a headache. Now we'll do this one. They've used sicker on these I presume maybe the bit of water was coming through. When I put them back together I'll actually put silicon grease inside the nut and on the thread and just be nice and neat with my sicker piling it in like this is can just create a bit of a headache in the future if you ever need to um, remove stuff what a bloody nightmare 
Um, but I got these out. See there? Bit of little bit of wet wood in there. It looks like. But that's okay. Is this big crowbar to smack them out? So now I can sand all this, um, and there's not stuff in my way. So I've grinded all that paint off in the bilge and got it back to bare wood. Um, it's taken a long time, covered in bloody dust, but at least that's done now. You can see from here, I've sanded all through this whole section, all through here and up to there. So now I can put the thinned out epoxy on the wood section, and I'll just brush that on. We've got a Hempel product here, a really thin epoxy, so we'll mix that up nice and good, and then we'll bust on the bottom of these holes. Alright, so the epoxy is in, um, put the lot in, you can see little puddles, but the wood's really soaking it up, so pretty happy with that. So yesterday I was starting to sand one of these beams that we brought home and um, found heaps of rock, which was a little bit devastating, but it's all good. Um, so I'm going right back with the router and a carving disc and an angle grinder until I get nice dry wood. If there's wood with a bit of moisture, I'll use the heat gun to help it get out. Um, but yeah, there's heaps of rot in this first beam we've removed, which is a little bit of a low blow, but I sort of expected something like that to happen. So I'm just gonna router out nice square holes, put some new wood in, um, epoxy that in, and then I'm actually gonna glass around that whole middle section of the beam. So here's the first hole. Um, there's a rot all through here. They glued a batten on to hold the net um, and screwed it, but they hadn't used any sicker in the screws. Um, just the way it was done, it sort of let water get in there. That's sort of been the main cause for rot, is from screws. So I took out all this huge piece of wood, this here, this middle delamination there, and all the, them other spots. Um, now it's pretty rot free, so I'll, yeah, I can get new wood in there, glass, and then I'm gonna glass all around this stuff here, so it's nice and strong. Been a bit flat with the filming for these bits. Um, where I found rot in here, I've come through with a router, and we're about to measure this and cut some new Oregon that we can glue in. Once we glue it in, I'll glass this, I'm just going to use filler on these holes where there was rot. It is big sections, but I'm glassing from here all the way down to here. Finish up with the chisels to get that nice square corners so that the bit of wood is going to fit in a lot nicer. I use epoxy resin for the glue. That adds some thickening and strengthening agents into it and spread it out nice and smooth and even before. I put the new piece of wood in.
though it's the next day since we put the bits of wood in. Um, they're in now, so I'm going to come in with the disc on the grinder first and take off the hard bits of resin, and then I'll plane them with the planer. But um, I want to take off the real hard lumps of resin. Pretty happy with this. Um, it's sort of my first time patching a huge piece of rod and timber with new wood. Um, used the Oregon. Luckily, I had the help of my old man, who's a bit of a guru with wood. But um, yeah, it looks pretty good. It'll be strong as, especially once I put some glass around it. Um, I'm going to put some filler over this whole section as well and sand it so then when I glass it it's really flat you don't want any pockets of air under your glass it might make it delaminate so I'll get this real smooth but yeah pretty good for now so I did all this yesterday um, just thinking now instead of putting a filler coat in this here then I'm actually just going to router out another section and put some wood in like I did here it's um turned out really good and it'll be such a strong repair like that. So squared these up nicely, this section and this section and they'll all be done in the same process as this except that this one here, um, I'm going to leave this a bit higher because originally the U-bolts that hold this beam to the tabernacle over there um, they had a bit of ply to keep in position, so I'm actually going to have this a little bit higher and router out that position. Um, the old one was attached with heaps of nails and it caused all this rot in here, so I'll just have that one piece come up higher and router out the sections and that'll be perfect. And then I can prime and paint. Just got to get this in. Pretty good. A bit annoying looking in the sun, but looks pretty good. Here, this raised section, you can see that. And here, it's actually where the U-bolts sit. The U-bolts sit through these holes. Um, the tabernacle here that holds the main mass. The U-bolts come around this block and they keep it from moving from side to side. Originally they had a thin bit of plier there with nails. I think I mentioned it before, it was all rotted. 
So this bit of wood's actually watered in to here. And I'm gonna glass it so it's super strong. Um, you can see how these U bolts just slot right in like that. And curves it out for them so they sit nice. And they just pop right in like that. So that stops this beam. Um, sorry, that stops the tabernacle moving from side to side. So I still got to do it on the other side, but I'm pretty happy with all these bits of wood I've scarfed in. Um, still got to build this section. Um, we'll build that on the next episode and then glass it and start painting it. But for now, looks pretty good, I reckon.